Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. It's Deja with Twisted Sisters Mojo and today I'm going to talk to y'all about Moldavite. Love it. It is an amazing stone. It is one of my most favorite stones to work with. Um, so let's ta start talking about some of the stories and what Moldavite is. Moldavite is not a crystal per se in the traditional sense of the word. Moldavite is classified as a tektite, which means it is a meteorite, um, molten glass if you will. Moldavite is found in one area in the Czech Republic near the Moldova River and it's the only place where Moldavite is found. Now some people say that there is a place in Germany where you can find Moldavite. I do not know if that's true or not. If you have any information on that, I'd love for you to drop that info in the comments because I'd really be interested in um, hearing what you have to say about that theory. Um, as I said, genuine Moldavite comes from the Czech Republic. If people are selling Moldavite online and selling it from anywhere other than the Czech Republic, chances are you may be dealing with a fake or something of that nature. So if you're going to go out there and buy Moldavite online, make sure that it's certified, make sure that you do your research um, so that you're purchasing your Moldavite from a reputable source. Now, in the comments below, I'm leaving a link to two separate um, sites that sell Moldavite that I trust. They have wonderful prices and beautiful pieces, and so check them out. The link, uh, one is Intervision Crystals, and the other is Enchanted Minds LLC. And again, their links are going to be in the description. Now, Moldavite is generally sold by the gram. And Moldavite can be expensive compared to other crystals and other stones that you find out there simply because Moldavite is such a finite resource. I mean, you're dealing with one area in the whole world that actually has Moldavite fields in it. So, Back to, I think I got a little sidetracked here, but back to talking about Moldavite. All right, so Moldavite is a tektite. It is a very unique looking um, item. I have a couple pieces here. Moldavite is generally green and different shades of green. I don't know if you can, there we go. Different shades of green. Um, Moldavite, the look of Moldavite is pitted with long maybe tunnels within the stone um, and if you're seeing Moldavite and it's not a kind of a duller shade of green you might be dealing with a fake. How to tell if a Moldavite fake? There's a few different ways and a, th a few things that will tip you off if you're out there trying to buy Moldavite and you're, you're finding things and you're not sure what to look for. Okay, one thing to look for um, to test to see if the moldite you're looking at is fake. Does it look molted? Uh, I'm sorry, molten. Like, does it look melted? Does it look shiny? If either, if you find a moldite that's shiny and looks melted, chances are that's a fake. Um, if you're out there and you pick up a piece and you see seams around the edges, that's definitely a sign that the Moldavite that you found is fake. Um, if, let's see, what else? If it's a very uniform, let's say you find a box of Moldavite and all of the pieces look extremely uniform, you might want to hold it up and examine it closer. It could be a fake. Um, a lot of times when you're shopping on eBay or Etsy, um, a lot of people are unwilling or unwittingly or intentionally selling things as Moldavite that aren't really Moldavite. Um, if it's a really bright, bright green like a Heineken bottle, that's a sign that the Moldavite is fake. 
Um, generally, like I said, Moldavite is a very, it, very unique in that we're looking at pits and craters and things of that nature that really do distinguish a Moldavite from anything else out there. There's really no two pieces that are the same. You get similar shapes and things like that, but um, no two are really the same. Um, if you really, if you're lucky enough to have like a jeweler's loop and you're out shopping for Moldavite, you can look into the Moldavite um, and through the jeweler's loop and inside you'll see bubbles and striations and almost like lava lines, if you will, that run through the center of Moldavite. Um, if you're dealing with faceted types of Moldavite, it's going to be a little bit different because you know, it's been cut, it's been polished, but even then you should be able to see what's inside of that mold away if you hold it up to the light. Now I have a whole bunch of rough pieces that I bought online from IBC and different sites that I trust, but I do have a couple of jewelry pieces that to me are a little suspect and I'll tell you why. All right, on the top, this ring actually looks like regular Moldavite. However, when you look underneath, I don't know if you can see it from here, it's extremely flat and glassy. Um, I checked this under a microscope and I have not, I did not see the gas bubbles, I did not see the the run lines and things like that. So to me, that's a little bit suspect. Um, also another piece that I have that, if I can get it off my finger, that to me is a little suspect is this ring. Um, the reason is it looks normal on the top. However, when you look at the side, you'll see that it almost looks glassy and melted. So, you know, you really have to be careful when you're buying things online that you're making sure that it is genuine, that it is certified, that it is what the people are claiming it, it to be. So, we've gotten past, you found a good piece of mold, right? You know that it's real. What can you expect from it? Now, Moldavite is called the uh, Stone of Transformation. It's an extremely high energy stone. It can actually cause physical reactions for someone who is wearing it for the first time. You can get heart palpitations, you can feel flushed, you can feel a little anxious. Um, there's all of these different kind of physical reactions for people that wear Moldavite for the first time that they may not expect. But as you wear your Moldavite and you work with it, you find your energy will adjust to that. So a lot of those physical symptoms that you have, you may not necessarily feel after you wear it for a time. I wear a ton of Moldavite all the time. So I've adjusted to its energy. Um, and so don't be intimidated when you get your first piece of Moldavite and, you know, it feels like it's a little much for you to wear. If you give it time, your body and your energy will adjust to it and it's a really great fit. It's a, um, it can bring all sorts of really positive things into your life. Um, it can facilitate changes in a way that maybe you aren't consciously aware of but something that you've wanted. There's a lot of mythology surrounding Moldavite. Um, some people say it is the Sorcerer's Stone. It's what the Sorcerer's Stone was made out of. Some people say that it was what the Holy Grail was made out of. Um, some people again talk about it having extraterrestrial connections and being able to facilitate communications with beings not of this planet. Um, so it's a really interesting stone to work with and to enjoy. Um, Moldavite can bring a lot of positive things into your life. 
I'm not sure, I can't remember if I talked about really good stones to pair it with. Um, Moldavite pairs well with any other crystal out there. Um, it acts almost as a booster, if you will, for other stones' energy. Um, when I'm working with Moldavite, I usually pair it with things like Phrenite, Damburite, uh, Petalite, Apotholite, uh, what else do I pair it with? Selenite. So I pair my Moldavite with other high energy stones. However, you can pair Moldavite with more grounding stones to kind of balance things out. Um, it also works well with amethyst and rose quartz and more of your common stones. So what you pair it with is actually a very personal, um, a personal thing. So don't be afraid to, you know, step outside the box and find that combination that works well with you and your Moldavite. Moldavite is great in crystal gridding. So you can use Moldavite in any kind of way that you would normally use any other kind of crystal in. Um, let's see, what else? Um, ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. Um, I just totally went blank, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I really just went blank. I, I'm going to take that as a sign that it's time to wrap up this video because I just, like I said, I just kind of went whoop. And so... In talking about Moldavite, in closing, um, it is a great stone. Um, again, check out the uh, links in the description for a couple of sites where you can get genuine Moldavite. Um, if you are in the Hampton Roads area, Mystic Moon of Norfolk generally has Moldavite. And I know their stuff is real. Um, there's a couple of really great Facebook groups out there, um, where you can get information, you can talk to people, you can talk about your experiences with Moldavite, and really get those connections with other people and share what you do and what you're experiencing with what they are experiencing. Oh, one more thing, what, before I forget again, if you pick up a piece of Moldavite and you don't feel anything from it, don't automatically assume that it's not genuine. Everyone experiences crystal energy in different ways. So just because something doesn't like blow your mind right away doesn't mean that it's not real. It just means that you're reacting to it differently than say I would or someone else would. So, um, I'm going to try and maybe show you a couple more pieces before I close. Um, let's see. This is one of my favorite teardrop pieces. It's about, I think this is about five or six grams. This is another lovely piece that I have. And... This is one of my larger pieces. Now this one is really cool because it has a little bit of sand embedded in the stone itself. And then I have these lovely two pieces. They really look great under light. Uh, let's see if I can get a good grip on that. There we go. There we go. And this little piece right here. So if you look close, you can tell, you know, how the, each of them are very different. I also have a bunch of smaller pieces and stuff in jewelry. So anyhow, I hope this has helped a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that like or subscribe button. And we will see you all in our next video. This has been Deja with Twisted Sisters Mojo and talking about Moldavite.